Hello everyone, my name is Jeevan. In this video, I'm going to explain component of malware. The malware is not just one simple code written and if it is this way, then it's not going to help you to complete the goal of the attacker actually. So that's the reason there is a lot of component and the tools within the malware they used to uh, deliver that code into the target from uh, coding to the delivery and execution executing and uh, uh, maintaining that into the uh, target system so if if malware code is written however if it is not delivered correctly and or or if during the delivery to the target destination if that that is caught by any uh, defensive counter measure maybe the firewall or IPS IDS that blocks so then motive of that developing that malware is uh, useless so based on that, that uh, considering all these facts the, the malware uh, designer designer needs needs to keep in mind that how that code can be that is strong and along with that how that can be hidden from uh, normal detection methods and and how that will be dropped to the destination and once that is delivered there then uh, how that can be uh, concealed uh, from a detection and can be uh, there for persistence uh, control into target so that's why uh, there is very good component uh, I'm going to the very important components I'm going to discuss here and the, these all components are not uh, will be used every malware uh, development and delivery uh, cycle however that the few of the components uh, of the malware based on the requirement that malware uh, software writer or designer will utilize one of a few of them or maybe all but it's not necessarily to have all component uh, everywhere being used so let's get started the first one the cryptor the cryptor is a software uh, that protect malware from under reverse engineering or analysis so in the target system there will be chances they the defender team may be using the IDS IPS or a firewall system or any sort of detection system so it is very important for malware uh, developer to to uh, protect the code uh, in the destination so, so they can uh, take it further and do their goal uh, into the target system so that's why it's very important to crypt that encrypt that uh, code so it, it is not uh, identifiable by reverse engineering approach that uh, target system may be using for their defensive control the next one is downloader the downloader is a type of trojan that downloads other malware from the internet to the PC or, or, or into the target system so that downloader usually attack and uh, attack the when they first gain access to the system so uh, that this is the uh, downloader where which is used to download the other malware maybe let's say there, there may be a target where we have delivered one malware and we have the the downloader there which will be utilized to download another maybe more harmful malware later into the system then next one is dropper so dropper is a type of trojan that covertly the secretly install other malware file into the system so once that is downloaded so it's sort of dropper and helps to secretly install other malware file into the system because it's not sufficient let's say we have delivered one malware file into some target system so uh, for retaining or maintaining that uh, access level or uh, elevating the access levels or maintaining the 
control into the target system it has to uh, be a uh, incremental sort of process to to keep dropping new malware code or customizing and further so they we are going the attacker is going to have the persistence control into the target so next one exploit the exploit is an actual real malicious code that breaches the system security and perform the uh, the real operation into the target whatever you want uh, the malware the attacker wanted to do into the target then packer so the packer is a program that allow all files to bundle up into the together in a, it may be a single executive executable file p file or another form so it pack the is sort of packaging there is a software uh, development life cycle there is a process called packaging how to package that pa application when when that is developed and coded so the packaging the packer is sort of a tool which will be used to package that code along with the required uh, libraries or anything that they that may need to work uh, into the target system so then the payload what is payload so payload is the piece of software that allow control over a computer system after it has been executed so once uh, the exploit is run there then this is this piece of code will allow control over the computer system the target computer system so the attacker can perform their actual intent of that attack and next one injector as the name says it's sort of injecting code into the other vulnerable software or process running so this is sort of let's say let's say sql injection or, or any code in, injecting or maybe embedding that code into some pdf file or anywhere so this injector uh, perform all these sort of injecting that code into the other code another one obfuscator so it is a program that conceal the, the secret its code and intent intended per purpose so the, the various mitigation techniques or security control into the target system they are not going to easily understand that what is that code is so they can they it can be avoided to be detected or removed if they detect if the code goes in a normal uh, way so it pretend like a maybe the hash matching or code written in, in this way so that uh, the detect defensive system into the target will be able to uh, identify that and can take an action to block it so it's a it is a helpful to conceal the secret the actual the code the payload or ex exploit code so it can be avoided from the target system detection uh, process so these are the very useful component of the malware uh, code malware any malware uh, and the that these components help malware delivery and installation and maintaining the persistence access into the any target system that's it in this video if this has been informative please consider subscribing my channel thank you